Hi, I'm Nick from Liberty Park Music, and I've created a series of videos to teach you how to use the free program GarageBand to practice playing the piano. This series has three goals. One, to show how rewarding making sounds on a keyboard can be. Two, to convey that music follows a set of rules that you can learn and experiment with. And three, to show you that you can learn music, and this is really the most important thing. To show you that anyone can learn music, let me tell you that I'm not a musician. I'm going to be teaching you how to use the program GarageBand, but I'm also going to be learning the music stuff along with you as a student. Michelle, our piano teacher, has prepared for us the piano portion of these lessons, and I'll be following along with you. But before we get started with any of that music stuff, let's learn how the program GarageBand works. So let's open up GarageBand and open up a new project. So you can see here that there's a lot of different kinds of presets. The preset that we want is the one called Keyboard Collection. That's the one that's gonna have the piano stuff in it. It's gonna be the easiest one to use. Just a little note right now before we even start, we're learning how to play piano on our computer and our computer also has a keyboard. A lot of the times pianos are called keyboards. When I speak, I'm gonna try my best to refer to a piano as a piano and a computer keyboard as a keyboard, but sometimes those terms get mixed up, so try not to get confused by that and I'll try to be as clear as I can. Okay, click on this. Here you have a bunch of different kinds of pianos. You can play with them and listen to their sounds and hear how they are. I'm going to show you on the grand piano because that has a more classical sound and it might be something that you would learn on. Here is a problem. I don't see anything to get sound out of this. It's actually really, really easy. Just go up to window and show keyboard, show piano, right? And you can just press the keys and music comes out. However, this is not a great way to practice music. It maybe is a good way to make music for certain people, but for us right now, we want to use our fingers and really get into it, right? And maybe we want to be able to play two notes at once. It's a little bit hard when you're just clicking with the mouse. So instead of opening up Show Keyboard, let's open this, Show Musical Typing. Now this is super cool because it looks a little bit like a piano, right? It has white keys here and black keys on top. But really what you're doing is you're just pressing on your computer keyboard like the A button and you get a little music that comes out. And you can even press multiple keys at once. So you get a nice little sound there. So we know that a computer keyboard isn't the same size as a piano. A piano has 88 keys and that doesn't fit on our computer. So what GarageBand did was they they made this section blue here and that shows the section of an actual piano that you would be playing on. So if you want to go down you press Z and you'll go down on the keyboard and get a low sound and if you press X you'll go up on the keyboard and get a higher sound. Okay so the last thing you need to know is that this icon is a metronome. If you click it on you'll get a click that will help you keep time while you practice. Over here we have a panel and you can see there's a lot of different things. There's a key signature and a time signature. It's a little bit more complicated and maybe you can get into it if you get more interested in music and you want to learn more. For now, let's look at this. This is the BPM, also known as beats per minute. And if we change this, we can make the click slower. And that'll be good for us because we're beginners. Let's move it to 70 beats per minute. Finally, this is the record button, and I would recommend that as you practice, you press down the record button and play a little bit, and then play, the, play what you did back so you can hear how you sounded and see if you made any mistakes. So you click it, and then you can just press the keys and get a little sound, play a little tune. And that is basically it. That is how you record with GarageBand and also how you use the musical typing tool. So that's how you use the program GarageBand. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video where we'll meet our piano teacher Michelle and she'll teach us a simple piano exercise we can practice on GarageBand. Thanks for watching.